second Genesis 5 and 46. And he said unto me, Ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, If thou bringest forth children, why dost thou it not together? But one after another. Pray her therefore to bring forth ten children at once. And the thing is, is that Ezra wasn't trying to hasten above his maker. Because he shit, he knows the Lord wants his judgment to come to pass. He's like, well, Lord, doesn't it just make more sense to do it this way? Like, why would you do it that way? You know? Because you want this judgment to pass to come to pass, but not the Lord he doesn't do it that way because of the, the, the judgment he already had set up. The things, the, the prophecies that he already had set up. The things that he spoke. He's hey, he's subject unto his word. He spoke this. This is what he wanted. Yeah, it's but it's a certain way that it has to happen. Like he's subject to keep his promises that he, that he, to us to keep his promises. Because basically from the beginning, he already had it set in the notes that Yahweh Shai was going to come back and destroy this place. So for that to happen, all the, all the things that we went through through the course of time had to come to pass. And shit, seeing as though we're here right now, was it really that fucking long? Like that, that we, don't even, we don't even remember yesterday, man. Yesterday was fucking 2,000 years ago, man. Really, two days ago. Pretty much. Yep. And pretty much the uh, the Lord, he's also proven that he actually exists. Yep. yep. And I said, she cannot, but must do it by distance of time. Then said he unto me, even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their times. But like as a young child may not bring forth the things that belong to the age, even so have I disposed the world which I have created. And I asked and said, seeing thou hast now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before thee for our mother, of whom thou hast told me that she is young, draweth now nigh unto age. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that beareth children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are unto they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? And she shall answer thee, They that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age when the womb faileth are otherwise. What's, uh, what chapter is that? Second Genesis 5. Genesis 5? Yeah, damn. What's verse 30 talking about? Uh, verse 30 goes into. If thou didst so much hate the people, yes, yeah, sure. No, no, that's not a No, because uh, through the course of time, what's going to happen? The wickedness will grow. That's what happens when things get weaker. Shit, wickedness makes things weaker. That's in Genesis. I, I, I got something right quick. Let me sum that up. Uh, Sirach chapter 39, 15. All the worst, Yahweh, out of seen and good, whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Exactly, man. So it was a certain time to where all these things had to come to pass, man. All right? Isn't it's not, it's not no, um, what was it saying? Uh, Sirach 39. No, 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 that's not the scripture I'm calling from. It says it in Sirach. I think it's like the uh, 42nd or the 43rd chapter where it says that man shall not say that uh, what need is there for this, or what need is there for that, but the Lord has supplied all things in their season, man. All right? So you're going to have God saying, well, that's not going to come to pass. Well, guess what? Now the Lord wrote that that's going to come to pass. Just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean anything. Also, the Lord, he ain't looking for no microwave generation, man. That's the reason why he didn't have everything happen at once. Everybody would believe in. The Lord doesn't want everybody to believe. He counts on you not believe. He wants to say, yeah, what's up now, nigga? I'm here. You said I wasn't coming. I'm here. And then you also got to look at it this way, too. Uh, if it did happen at one time and stuff, guess what? Everybody would be destroyed. Yep. Hey, hey, no flesh should be saved. He repeats himself in the third, third verse. Uh, Sirach 39, verse 33. All worse, Yahweh, good, he would give every needful thing in due season. So that man cannot say this is worse than, than that. For a time, they should be well approved. Yep. Hey. And therefore, praise hey. ye Yahweh with hey, the man. whole heart and mouth. Bless the name of Yahweh. And that's how you know it's a season to when this man's going to go down. Like it was a season to where there was a manifest destiny and he took us down. Yep. Well, this is the part two of the manifest destiny. And there's a season to where we're going to take him down and rule over him. And there's a season where we're going to rule over this earth. And there's a season where we're going to be righteous. And we're going to have our King Yahweh Shai and King David. And we're going to have them raw ass bodies tearing you wicked ass people up, man. Judging you in the right uh, the right doctrine according to the Bible, man. What does it say? With a two-edged sword in his hand, 
And in the book, in the other hand, to execute judgments upon the heathen, meaning we're gonna judge y'all, man. That's right. Esau, he 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 wants to come on forever. Shit, could we could we we beat him Esau with a thousand some years? But that's when uh, we grew him in the dark ages. Yeah, shit, yeah. Now, I, I don't really want to say it all. It's been longer than that because it's been that. more than one time where this man has had rulership over us. Whether it be the Grecians or whether it was the Romans, man. Well, I thought we beat uh, beat him Esau. Oh, you said yeah. He's trying to equate. He's trying to. Uh, I just say he tried to drag all along as he can, but it's not how good it was doing his right? Uh, I got the information from Yeah, yeah. Revelation 20 and 1. Right. And I saw an angel come down from 